Welcome to Weekend 101, in which we suggest some topics for discussion about the news in South Africa this week. I'm Sean Duval. This is Adrian Ephra. Thank you, Sean. Well, on Tuesday, our Cirque to Parliament rolled out its latest act when the motion of no confidence against Speaker Baleka Mbete was debated. Insults were thrown around like little hand grenades. Honourable members dashed around in the door. Who writes this stuff? Words like charlatans, losers, hypocrites, murderers. And it, and it got worse, exactly. But first, we had Minister of Razmataz, Fikila Balula, standing up to defend Baleka Mbete, the Speaker of Parliament. The Speaker is not a consultant in this House. He is an elected member of the ANC. He's the chairperson of the African National Congress. And the ANC have won the majority rule. And therefore, we don't apologize. Pimps and hoes, yo. Pickpockets, vagabonds. Guess what Mbaks had for lunch? <laughs> well, the honorable, the honorable, very honorable Julius Malema was not having any of that. I'm rising no, on no, the No, no, I've not order. recognized you. But he couldn't get a word in. No. Enter Deputy Minister Cedric Frolic. Point of order Honourable is Malema, the take rules. your seat. I've not recognised you. There's another member of your own party behind you, Rose, ahead of know. you. I, I don't know. I've not recognised you. But this thing of pointing us with fingers, what do you call that? Honourable member. Why do you point me with a finger? Honourable member, take your seat. But why do you point me with a finger? I have not recognised you. But why do you point me with a finger? Honourable member. How about that surname? Frolic. Frolic. Honestly, with a name like Frolic, why is he not with EFF? It's very honourable though. Absolutely. Honourable Frolic. Honourable, honourable. Honourable, honourable Frolic. Finger pointing on Tuesday was followed by worse on Wednesday with accusations of murder and that led in fact to something even worse which was pulling a zap sign in Parliament. Zap signs are not very honourable. EFF MPs Julius Malema and Floyd Shivambu accused Cyril Ramaphosa of having blood on his hands over the Marikana massacre. They were ordered out of the National Assembly, but not before Shivambu gave Cyril the finger. Honourable Sean, maybe the only thing worth debating is whether we have confidence in this parliament. You know, Honourable Adrian, I think this is the most fun anyone's had in a South African parliament in at least a hundred years. The zap sign is a beautiful thing though. I don't know. It's not very parliamentary. From one circus to another, Oscar Pistorius has been found not guilty of murder and instead has been found guilty of being afraid of the dark and imaginary black people. Judge Tokazila Masipa has come in for some stick for ruling that Pistorius could only be found guilty of culpable homicide and for discharging a weapon in a restaurant. Proof that you can fire bullets into your girlfriend but not at the dinner table. No, that's very bad manners. In Nigeria, 67 South Africans, or so we're told, were killed when a guest house belonging to a Nigerian evangelist called TB Joshua collapsed. Wait, isn't he the guy who said he can cure AIDS and raise the dead? Too soon. Too soon. Anyway, in Scotland, gingers around the world will hold their breaths. Rumour has it that Ron Weasley is tipped for post in, a post in the new cabinet, but when they finally figure out that he's not Scottish, he'll be beheaded. A shoe-in for Minister of Defence is, wait for it, you guessed it. Mel Gibson. Now here's a country with its act together. They already have a national costume, national games, a national flower and a national dish. Aye aye, they even have a national animal that no one has ever thought of yet. Loch Ness Monster. No, a unicorn. A fucking unicorn. <laughs> now why didn't Mandela and Declare think of that? Can you imagine an African unicorn? Brilliant. Brilliant.